Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and how to apply Hardy Weinberg formula. And if you know how to do it, you may stop video here, read the problem, solve it, and later you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a problem. In a study of human blood groups, it was found that among a population of 400 individuals, 230 were Rh positive and 170 were Rh negative. Assuming that this trait, uh, being Rh positive, is controlled by uh, dominant allele D, calculate the allele frequencies of capital D and small d, how many of the Rh positive individuals would be expected to be heterozygous. And as I said, uh, in order to um, solve this problem, uh, I'm going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula and we use this formula in order to find the allele's frequencies in the gene pool. So F here would stands for the frequency and P squared would be a uh, number of uh, uh, dominant, uh, homozygous dominant, so this is going to be capital D capital D plus number of the heterozygous, that is uh, 2PQ, and this is going to be heterozygous, so capital D, small d, and plus Q squared, that stands for the um, frequency of the um, homozygous recessive, so small d, small d, and all this equal to 1. And number of the alleles P plus Q equal to 1. So P stands for the capital D or dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele. So uh, let's now analyze the problem itself. So we have 400 individuals that were tested for this um, Rh positive or negative uh, trait and 170 were uh, uh, Rh negative. So that means that this group that is small d, small d or homozygous recessive, uh, the number is 170. So let's put this number here, 170. And the total number of the people that were tested is 400. So we have to divide 170 by 400 and so we would be able to find the frequency that is Q squared. So this is going to be Q squared and the answer here would be 0 0.425. This is uh, number Q squared. So let me write it down here. The frequency is 0 0.425. And as long as we know Q squared, we can easily find Q. So let me write it down once again. So Q squared would be 0 0.425. Then uh, Q would be square root of this number and the answer would be uh, 0 0.652 so this is going to be Q so now we know Q and we also know Q squared and uh, when we know Q we can uh, find uh, frequency of the P. So we have to use this formula and it's very easy if we know Q. It's uh, very easy to find P. We just have to subtract this uh, number from 1. So let's do it. And uh, P would equal to 1 minus Q or P would equal to 1 minus 652. So the answer would be 0, 3, 4.
for 8. So now we know number p. And now it's easy to find p squared. So p squared would be 0 0.348 squared. Or you just can uh, multiply it by itself. That is the same. So the answer here would be 0 0.1 to 1. So we can write this number here. So frequency of the p squared would be 1, 0 0.1 to 1. And now we can find uh, this uh, number for this part of the formula. So uh, uh, frequency of the heterozygous would be 2pq. Or that means that we have to multiply 2 by number p, that is 0 0.348 and uh, we also have to multiply it by number of q, that is 0 0.652 and the answer here would be 0 0.454 and this is, would be frequency of the heterozygous 0 0.454 and if we add all these numbers we are going to get 1 so now we know that uh, all the frequencies that we got uh, as a result of our calculations is correct but this is not the final answer yet because now we know the frequency of the heterozygous here and now we can multiply the number of uh, people who participate in this research and we know that this is 400 people so we have to multiply 400 by frequency of the heterozygous that is uh, 0 0.454 and our final answer would be 182 people. So this is going to be our answer today. And uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write comments in the comment box. Goodbye.